Africa can leverage its abundant natural resources to become a global hub for sustainable Bitcoin mining with significant investments from Bitcoin companies across countries like Ethiopia, Malawi, Kenya and Zambia. Biotech correspondent Paul Ndiho is here with a special guest. Hello, Paul. Thanks, uh, Esther. Beta coin mining uses powerful computers to solve complex problems and computers consume significant amounts of energy. Despite our criticism its energy of its energy use, Africa has an opportunity to leverage renewable resources for economic growth and job creation by positioning itself as a leader in sustainable blockchain technology. Robert Rufford is the, the CEO of Potentia, a company that mines Bitcoin. He joins me here in the studio to share more information. Hello and welcome. Thank you. Uh, let's start off by you telling us what's Bitcoin. Bitcoin is simply a peer-to-peer -peer financial transaction network that utilizes blockchain technology to operate as a public ledger, meaning that every transaction across the Bitcoin network is completely transparent for all users. How about what's a Bitcoin mining? So what Bitcoin mining is main goal is to provide their computational power, their hash rate to the Bitcoin network. And that's going to solve two key functions here. That is one going to help release new Bitcoin into the ecosystem. And secondly, process the Bitcoin transactions across the network. So your company, Potentia, is uh, in Ethiopia. A lot of other companies are in Ethiopia and other parts of Africa trying to do Bitcoin mining. Tell us more. They're not trying. They are mining there. So Ethiopia is a stalwart right now of Africa. They have over 600 megawatts currently being contributed to the Bitcoin network. That's approximately about 2% of the total Bitcoin network. And you have miners operating around the world who's recognizing that Ethiopia is a destination for profitability and for the Ethiopian government, the Ethiopian people, this is a great opportunity to bring in foreign investment into the country. Uh, we talked about how uh, mining Bitcoin requires a lot of uh, energy. Uh, in this particular case, what are we talking about? So Ethiopia is abundant in their hydroelectricity. 90% of their total en energy is coming from uh, hydroelectricity. So you can say there's a lot of clean energy being provided to the Bitcoin network right now coming from Ethiopia. And because they have such an abundance of energy, there is cheaper energy there. That's one of the rationales why miners have been flocking into the country. Uh, interesting. How about uh, other African countries? There are also other African countries that are already into this space uh, that are trying to mine uh, Bitcoin. Uh, what does it take uh, to do that? Absolutely, yes. There's absolutely other nations uh, exploring the, the opportunity of what Bitcoin represents. Uh, Nigeria is deeply looking into the space. Kenya is definitely looking into the space. And across the nation, um, across, across several nations, you see entrepreneurs who are Bitcoin entrepreneurs identifying opportunities within their countries to mine Bitcoin and promote the network within their countries. Uh, talking about opportunities, there are a lot of young Africans who are keen about uh, this uh, space. They want to be part of this uh, technology here. How can they tap into these uh, resources that we are talking about? Well, one, so many young people recognize the advantage of what, uh, about what Bitcoin represents. One, that's being a Bitcoin holder, being paid in Bitcoin, uh, paying for things in Bitcoin, utilizing the Bitcoin network for, uh, for their financial transactions but also identifying ways for them to be entrepreneurs in the space, being a Bitcoin miner, being a Bitcoin educator, and understanding this is connected them to a global community. So when we talk about Bitcoin, a lot of people think about money, mining money, literally, right? How can somebody make money uh, doing either Bitcoin mining or just investing in Bitcoin? Well, so for a Bitcoin miner, remember there was two key things that the miner is supposed to achieve. That is one, release new Bitcoin into the ecosystem and process the transactions. So every 10 minutes, Bitcoin releases a new block. Within that block, 3.125 Bitcoin are represented. So when a miner provides their computational power, their hash rate, and they solve that block, they receive that block reward, the subsidy, and they also receive all of the transaction fees that was present within that block. So do you work with uh, individuals or you work with governments uh, or uh, established uh, companies? So what's so fascinating about this space is every entity you said is represented. Corporations, government, individuals, small businesses, large scale business. 
every, that so many people within this community comes from every sector of the government, every sector of industry, and recognize this as an opportunity to, to truly build a new community that is impacting the globe all at one time. Uh, a couple of days ago, there was the biggest uh, heist uh, of Bitcoin. Uh, how did that happen for a person who is into this space? Well, I think the most important thing to realize about that specific event is that the Bitcoin network was not hacked. The Bitcoin network has never been hacked. That is simply a matter of a custodial problem about how those Bitcoins were being stored and someone identifying a vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Very briefly. Uh, your company in Ethiopia, what are you trying to uh, leverage on? Well, what I see as a great opportunity is with the new administration trying to position America as a leader in Bitcoin, that has changed how the everyday American is looking at this space and connecting the everyday American to opportunities within Africa, not just about seeing an opportunity for making Bitcoin and exposure to Bitcoin, but also realize that they are impacting the infrastructure of that nation, that there's a humanitarian effect here as well. Robert, I would love to have you back. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of time. Thank you so much. Thank you.